guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today we are gonna talk about unschooling. Now, if you're sitting here thinking I have no idea what that is or I'm curious about it, you're in luck because this video is gonna be in a collaboration with other mamas who are gonna talk about it. And it's hosted by Nina over at Everyday Blessings. So make sure you check out Nina and her channel and you check out the playlist so you can learn all about unschooling. Now, I don't really like the term unschooling. It almost sounds like a lack of learning. You put that un in front of it and it doesn't sound very good. But it's also called interest-led learning, child-led learning, or my favorite is natural learning. It's trusting that your child knows what they need and just helping them out and providing the resources they need to become the best they can be today and every day. So here's one thing you need to know about natural learning. It looks different in every household. What works in our household is not gonna be the same as what works in another natural learning household. And it could even look different from kid to kid because if you're really going off your child's needs, then it's gonna look different. So what you're gonna see in my video is what works best for my son. We do take this natural learning approach. And so what I plan on doing in this video is sharing with you what a day looks like for my son. Now today we just got home from co-op, so I'm exhausted, he's exhausted, and we're not really doing anything else today. But I am gonna start tomorrow and let you see what it looks like from the time he wakes up till about supper time so you can kind of follow his natural learning journey. So that's what we do here. What works for us is unit studies. We've came a very long way. If you don't know anything about us, I was a public school teacher for 13 years. My son went to public school up until second grade and our first year of homeschool was very much school at home. But I knew there had to be a better way. I knew that every day didn't have to be an argument and in tears. And so that's when I started doing my research. I do not suggest jumping in and just, oh, we're gonna unschool. I do think you need to do some research. I think you need to really look into it. I think you need to talk about it with your kids because a lot of times kids are so used to being told what to do and when to do it that when you give them this freedom, they don't know what to do. And I'm telling you that from experience because I was like, after that first year, I was like, okay, we're gonna unschool. And we tried it for a few days and then for a few weeks. And my son's like, this is stressing me out. I don't know what to do. I'm used to you telling me what to do. And so we had a really good long talk about what it could look like, what exactly he needed. And after talking to him about it, we realized he needed a little bit of soft structure when it came to what he wanted to learn. And then the rest of the day, he kind of wanted to figure out for himself. So like I said, it's gonna look different from house to house. So for us, the way that works is we use the bucket system. Um, it's from Sage Family, and I'm gonna tell you about some books you can read and do your research on. But Sage Family makes this thing, she has a class called the bucket system, and it really just is a time management tool that has really helped my son manage his day from the things he wants to get done to the things he needs to get done. The bucket system is amazing. So I will link, I have an affiliate link I'll put down below if you wanna go check out that class. So you're gonna see that. I'm gonna show you a day in the life and you're gonna see us using the bucket system. A part of the bucket system does include his learning because that's something he wants to fit into his day. And so what works for my son is gather round. If you don't know anything about gather round, you gotta check out some other videos on my channel. I have a ton of them. They're unit studies. They include all the subjects except for math and he loves them. The reason why he loves them is because he gets to choose the ones that we do. Every one that we've done have been chosen by him. I show him the list and say, what do you wanna learn about next? And he chooses. Because he's engaged and he has that buy-in, he has learned so much. One thing you're gonna learn from some of the books that I show you, or just from working with children, is you, you know, you can throw information at kids all day, but if they're not engaged and, and it doesn't fit into some kind of context for them, they're not really learning. 
And so having this natural led learning where the kids are interested, this is what they want to know, they have a need and they have a desire, they are going to learn it and they're gonna learn it a lot faster than you just throwing stuff at them all day long. So we love unit studies from Gather Round. We love them from Campfire Curriculums because we can zoom in on his interest and his passions and then help him find the resources he needs to learn those things. That's what I think of myself of, is a resource finder. I'm not here to just throw information at him all the time. I'm here to help him be the best he can be every day. That's my job. And if there's something he wants to know more about and he can't find it, I will help him find ways to learn whatever it is. And that's the way I look at natural learning and interest-led learning. So you may be sitting there thinking, well, I thought unschoolers didn't use curriculum. Some of them don't but some of them do. If there is a need that your child has and a curriculum meets that, then you can use it. And because my son wanted some type of structure to his learning, the unit studies met our need. And it could look so many different ways. And you're gonna see that on any unschooling video you watch, um, or even the ones in the playlist, you're going to see how different it is from family to family. So my plan for this video is to take you through the day and let you see what it looks like in our house, our natural learning approach. But I want to give you some resources. If you're interested in unschooling, Carla and the Sensational Six here on YouTube is an excellent channel to follow. I also love North and South. They are an unschooling family. Um, the Falco family, they also do some natural-led, interest-led learning, and I'm sure, let's see, Real Family Journey, I follow those. They're a good family to watch. Their kids are younger. Um, I'm trying to think of all the people that I watch on YouTube that unschool. But another recommendation I have is the Sage Family Podcast. It is from Rachel Rainbolt. This is the book I recommended. I've recommended it before. If you want to know more about natural learning and just how to trust your kids and, and that they're going to learn, um, Sage Homeschooling is an excellent book to read. I'll put a link to it down below and you can check it out. And her podcast, Sage Family Podcast, is amazing. It will just put your mind at ease and there's just so many aha moments when I listen to her. I'm just like, where were you a few years ago when I was doing school at home? Like, it's amazing. So definitely read this book. And if you're looking for some more information about how children learn and studies that have been done, Free to Learn by Peter Gray is awesome. Also, you can follow him on Facebook. She is also on Facebook and on Instagram. Follow them both. Lots of information on natural learning. They're amazing. So that's my introduction. I know it's not like a how-to because you really have to do this research yourself. I can sit here and tell you exactly how to unschool. It's a journey. It's a learning journey that you've got to do your research and just kind of see what works best for your family. So let's get into a day in our life using natural learning. Just like most mornings, he'll come and join me in the bed when he wakes up. And this morning he fell back asleep and he woke up about 9.45. He likes to eat breakfast in my bed and catch up on YouTube, so that's what he's doing there. And then he starts to get ready for the day, brushing his teeth, washing his face, getting dressed, or staying in pajamas, whichever one he chooses. And then he comes to love on our dog Lola, and that usually takes up a couple of minutes because they're so happy to see each other from being apart for a whole night. So. They'll love on each other, play for a little bit, and then he'll move on with his day. The next thing you're gonna see him do is check the bucket. That's the bucket system I've mentioned, and I will link it down below. He's working on tidying up his room because that's on his bucket. And he works on the other things. It's just a really good way for him to manage his day and just move through his day and be as successful as he can be. Now he's gonna check the house bucket. This is just what can he do to help love on our house. It helps me out and it gives him some responsibility and we toss the clip in when we're finished. The next thing he chose to do was to work on math and we do have a math curriculum. That's what works best for him and he asked for that, so that's what we do. We do use teaching textbooks and if you notice, we're not sitting at a computer doing it because that just didn't work for him. It worked for a while and then he asked to have math in a book form and paper and pencil. So I ordered the book and that's what we're doing right now. So we're working on that. He's reaching back to get the calculator. We don't mind him using a calculator. That's a tool to us. 
He already understands the concept of the concept of diameter and radius and perimeter and all those things we're trying to figure out. So he's just using the calculator to speed up that process. So we're working on math and getting that done and that'll be something he can take off of his bucket because it is a part of his bucket system. And I just wanted to throw in something real quick that I made for him, just showing him a way that he can take notes and put them on a little ring to help him out if he ever needs them. Now his buddy's here that does gather around homeschool with us, but they wanted to stop for a minute before we even got started with the gather around stuff and play some Zelda, catch up on some TikToks. So they took some time to do that and we started the writing project from Gather Round. The great thing about Gather Round is I let him choose the order that we do the sheets in. So again, it's his choice. While we're waiting on Friend to write his paragraph, he's working on his cursive. He was interested in working and perfecting his cursive a little more, so I bought him the Good and the Beautiful cursive to work on that. And he just removes it from his bucket and throws it in. Now, Friend is still working, so he's gonna go do something else that was on his bucket that we call Toy Sweep, and it's really just going around the house and picking up things that belong to you and putting them back where it goes. So he's working on that. After that, he moved into some spelling practice. He has some words he's working on each week that comes from Gather Round. And he's using vocabulary A to Z, used to be known as Spelling City, to practice these words. So that's what he's working on right now. He likes it because it's in a game form and that's fun for him. So now he's just gonna come remove his spelling clip and you'll see that he's accomplished a whole lot and at this point it was about 1215. So now we're gonna go on and do some other pages. They chose to do art and then they chose to do notebooking. I love the notebooking pages. They're great for natural learning because he can write what he finds important um, on those notebooking pages. And then after we notebooked, they decided they wanted to go outside. It was a beautiful day here in the South. It was sunny, it was 81 degrees, and all they needed was a hose and a water bottle, and they played for over two hours outside. So we get a good mix of technology and outside time here at our house, and it's all natural. I don't have to set any of this up. Then they came in and had lunch. He always chooses what he wants to eat. I never tell him what he, want, what he needs to eat or what he should eat. And then he's sitting in the floor. We're doing kind of a rabbit trail, a video about World War I because we wanted to learn more. And then they worked on how to make a conveyor belt and how a conveyor belt works, which was a part of Gather Round. So even though our Gather Round work is ending, that doesn't mean that the learning stops. They did many more things the rest of the day, watched lots of good YouTube videos, but my son did not want to be videoed anymore. So I always honor his wishes and we stopped for the day. I want to thank Nina again from Everyday Blessings for hosting this collaboration. If you want to see more Day in the Life videos from me or just learn a little bit more about us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back for more. Check out the playlist. And as always, thank you so much for watching.